before his death, and Yaman Roshi called me into his office, and he said, uh, now he said, I want to give you a quote soon. And it said, he had about 12 lined up on his desk, and he said, you can have the one you want. And so those people who have been studying with me, and many of you have said that you have, all the time I was teaching, I always carried the kotsu that the Roshi gave me. And this is it. And it was one he used every day. He has special one for special days, which I now see that his son has, who is also a Roshi. But this was his every day. It's kind of a rough, rough staff from a mountain, isn't it, what the Koan says? And, but still, it means, it means a great deal when you've been taught by a, a superlative teacher and always having this. And um, so I received it very gratefully. For those of you who studied Zen, the word Mu is here, and many of you have met that, and then his name, Ko Un Kan, uh, Ken. Uh, and I, um, I feel now that, that it's, this has got to continue its work. I have stopped teaching, and uh, all the time I was uh, struggling, trying to learn the ancient Japanese terms that are, are used in Zen, and the Sanskrit behind them and everything. There was always a voice I went to, and that's uh, Ruben Habito. And as it goes to this day, I pick up the phone and I said, Ben, what does this mean? He tells me, so whatever I'm writing, I can get that straight. And uh, I think in the years, at the end, end of this century, when we're looking at the people who taught Zen in, in uh, the 21st century, that uh, Ruben Habito will be at the top of the list. He is a, uh, an enormously talented person uh, intellectually, his Japanese was superb, superb. Yamato Roshi used to say, I don't know whether I'm speaking to a Japanese or, or, or not. And his, his uh, command of so many of the, uh, the uh, languages, and the languages that are written in script, you know, not the ABC that we know. And he, he has all of this at his fingertips. And of course, most of us didn't. I had the, the great uh, hunger to know what these meant. And the person I, that was always available to me uh, was Ruben Hamito. And so I think uh, uh, after the Roshi died, I went to his son and I said, you know, your father gave me this, this uh, coat suit. And uh, I said, I, I think probably you should have it. And he said, uh, he said, oh no, he gave it to you. And he said, that his spirit is, is strong in there. He said, you keep that for your teaching days. And he said, the, uh, um, the, uh, he said, I have that black one that he used for all special occasions. So I feel that this, this, uh, this kotsu has to go on and do its work. And Ruben, I would like to, tonight in front of all our friends here to give it to you and to carry on the work of our great teacher. I mean, I know who I'm going to give it to tonight. That's yeah. what I mean. As you all know, I was with the Buddhist nuns for about uh, seven or eight years. And uh, uh, the, te the, the teacher was very, uh, anyway, the teacher had never brought anyone through all these steps that you have to go through if you want to become a Zen teacher. So. Uh, uh, Father LaSalle, the person who had been directing me, said, oh, you've got to go to a better teacher now. You go to Yamada Roshi. And uh, so I did, and that's when my 
star took off and I was able to get, uh, uh, to get into Koran study and everything.